Right now, an incident between UW police and protesters. The video sparking a statement from the university. And we do have a winter weather advisory in effect later tonight. The heavier snow bands fall, falling to the north of Madison. We'll have more coming up. Plus, we'll have some travel tips. How to check your luggage without paying more. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Leah lynch -Eyed. I'm Chris Stanford. All right, let me have it. Get it out of your system. <laughs> okay, so we've been ribbing Chris all morning. He uh, didn't wear pink on Valentine's Day. But neither did Kelly. Do you two not believe in love? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of pinkish. That's kind of a... Who hurt you, Kelly? Lilac, maybe? I don't know. But li I'll give him lilac. <laughs> Green I is... Hey. I, I, I love Valentine's Day. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know if I care enough about it to wear red or pink. Do you own pink? I, I think I have a pink tie somewhere. You're a girl dad for so long and you... To be fair, I hate pink. I bought this dress for Valentine's She's Day. She's doing this for you. <laughs> this is for you! <laughs> Kelly, All right, Kelly, save us. <laughs> All right, well, we uh, are, may see some pink on the weather maps coming in later today. We'll talk more about that coming up. But uh, in the meantime, we are going to be quiet this morning. It's a little chilly with uh, some frost on the windshield. It's not until later tonight, midnight. So if you have any plans going out for dinner for Valentine's Day, should be no problem. Unless you're out after midnight, areas to the north, winter weather weather advisories in effect until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's where the heavier snow is likely to impact uh, from the Dells over toward uh, Columbia County. Uh, 25 right now in Madison, 23 in Wanakee at uh, Fitchburg at 23. So it is a chilly start to the morning. Temperatures uh, back in the mid 40s today with clouds starting to move on in. It won't be until late tonight, mainly after midnight through tomorrow morning. Most of the uh, snow should be done with by this time tomorrow morning. So it's not going to last real long, but it could come down at a fairly good clip after midnight maybe an inch per hour before it starts to wind down by this time tomorrow morning. Winds right now are out of the south. That's what's going to bring us some milder temperatures, and we should see some sunshine this morning. A few clouds by the noon hour, but low 40s already. Mid 40s expected with the clouds continuing to thicken up. But as we get toward 9, 10 o'clock areas to the north and west, expecting some of that rain snow to be spreading through the area. But you notice temperatures above freezing, so a lot of this is going to be melting on contact. Could be kind of a sloppy, sloppy commute by this time tomorrow morning. Otherwise, today, quiet, just frosty this morning with temperatures in the 20s should be rising into the mid 40s more of the snowfall potential coming our way tonight coming up all right kelly thank you very much to our top story this half hour the uw says it's looking into an incident on campus after video appears to show an officer shoving a protester to the ground shane hogan is here with what the university is saying about all this this morning shane hogan hey hey guys good morning that's right this video comes from the student Advo advocacy group Mecha de Madison. You can see here in this video, a protester appears to be shoved out of a doorway and then falls to the ground. It also shows protesters blocking the door to that building. Mecha says students were protesting a career fair, hosting companies that they claim gives Israel weapons. UW spokesperson John Lucas says someone was cited after trying to stop students from meeting recruiters but that person was later released. A statement from Lucas says in part, quote, individuals at the career fair may not engage in behavior that prevents attendees from free access to recruiters and tables or prevents attendees from entering or exiting the event. You can watch the video for yourself. We have that linked under this story up on channel3000.com, guys. All right, Shane Hogan reporting. Thank you, Shane. Meantime, two workers at a Beloit Elementary School are in police custody this morning. They face charges of disorderly conduct for an incident authorities say involved a student. The school employees work at Merrill Elementary School. Police aren't revealing specifics of the allegations, only that it happened last week and that they were informed three days later. The male and female suspects have turned themselves in. This morning, the firefighter seriously injured in Monday night's boat crash is still in the hospital. The Beaver Dam Fire and Rescue Department says it was training for ice rescues on the lake when an airboat crashed into Grape Island. Three firefighters total were hurt. One had to be airlifted to the hospital. The other two are out of the hospital this morning. The DNR is still investigating what exactly happened. Victims of the Evansville tornado can get an update on the recovery efforts tomorrow night. That meeting starts at 6 o'clock in the auditorium of Evansville High School. The address is 640 South 5th Street. You can stay up to date on Evansville's response to the tornadoes with the Channel 3000 mobile app. It's available for free in your app store. You can also find all of our coverage of last week's storms on channel3000.com. All right, a live look at Kansas City, Missouri this morning. That's where the Chiefs are going to be celebrating their big Super Bowl victory. 
with that parade. The Kansas City Council authorized a million dollars for the celebration. Parade goers are going to kick off the two mile route at noon. After the parade ends, players, coaches, and other members of the Chiefs organization will give speeches at Union Station, which you are taking a look at right there. Big day in Kansas City uh, celebrating the Chiefs back to back. Super Bowl victories. I'd love to see the words in the background flashing go Chiefs. What a fun city celebrating. Yeah, all lit up red this morning. All right, at 605, traveling can be an exciting adventure. Maybe you're headed to Kansas City, but don't let that adventure begin at the airport check-in desk trying to navigate luggage rules. Consumer Reports has some easy pre-travel tips to help navigate your way through a seamless travel experience. Our Shane Hogan reports. As many of us know, navigating airline luggage rules can sometimes turn that excitement into a challenge. I have to pay an extra charge with my luggage for each luggage, so it was really expensive. A Consumer Reports survey found that 40% of the people who flew in the past year chose a higher fare just to avoid baggage fees. And we're not just talking about check bags. In CR survey, 30% of the Americans who had flown in the past year paid for a carry-on bag. Consumer Reports says careful planning when you book your ticket may save you money, not to mention a headache, later at the airport. It's always smart when booking a flight to check to see if your airline offers a discount for prepaying baggage fees online. And keep in mind that luggage marketed as carry-on size can be bigger than those standard dimensions. CR found that during its recent luggage testing. A bag that should fit in most overhead bins and not break the bank is the Amazon Basics 21-inch hard side spinner for about $80. And for now, most airlines will still let you bring a personal item for free, so make the most of it. A great choice for that personal item will be a travel backpack. A good one will have plenty of compartments that are easy to access in flight, but still fit under the seat in front of you. The Patagonia Black Hole Mini MLC for $199 was a staff favorite, along with this eBags Pro Slim for $75. Two more pieces of advice. Be sure to sign up for the airline's frequent flyer program. And if you travel often on the same airline, you might consider its co-branded credit card for more perks. But a warning, those cards can sometimes carry yeah. higher fees. It's that time of year where families are thinking about spring break travel, talking about summer travel plans. So some really timely information. Yeah, just before summer, too. We're trying yeah. to get up to Banff, so I was listening. Right. Good stuff. All right, 607. Let's check in with Kelly Slifka on your forecast. Yeah, we are talking about some snow that will be spreading our way later on tonight through tomorrow morning. That's why we have the first warrant alert day. We'll have more on that coming up. And coming up in your morning sports, how the Badgers snap their losing streak against Ohio State. Plus, sending love to seniors. We'll show you the sweet surprise for a local center here in Sock County coming up next in the 608. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Brought to you by Toyota. Dear all-wheel drive, let's show the road what we've got. Snowy streets, we're coming for you. Icy grip, we're holding tight. Wintry mix, meh. Safety's the name of our game. Yours, Toyota all-wheel drive sedans. Right now, get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a stylish new 2024 Camry. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Roth Cheese for Best Cheese Producer. Vote for Roth Cheese and all your favorites on MadisonMagazine.com. One night, four huge events. The Bulls, Bands, and Barrels Tour returns to the Alliant Energy Center on Saturday, February 24th, 7 p.m. Featuring bull riding, barrel racing, freestyle bullfighting with a live performance by Ian Munsick. On the gas, speeding past your place. Get tickets and information at BullsBandsAndBarrels.com. The Bulls, Bands, and Barrels Tour, Saturday, February 24th at 7 p.m. at the Alliant Energy Center. If you've been injured in a truck crash, you know what a life-changing experience it can be. What you may not know is that trucking law is extremely complex. We have a powerful team with the knowledge and resources needed to win. Don't wait. Call Gruber Law Offices today. We have a history of top-notch results and over 35 years of winning for injured people. And there's never a fee until we win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 
Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. The Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present Remembering Bobby V, a joyful multimedia show celebrating the Midwest's very own Bobby V and performed by his family. One night only, Saturday, February 17th. Tickets on sale at friendspac.org. Want big fitness energy without a big investment? Join Planet Fitness. Now through February 16th, save big during the Big Fitness Energy Sale when you join for just $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. That's right, we've dropped our enrollment fee to just $1, so it's easy to get in and get energized. Never intimidating. Always free fitness training. Equipment for every workout. Don't miss out. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Hurry, deal ends Friday, February 16th. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Welcome back. Let's start this uh, next little block here by taking a look at New Orleans. <laughs> oh, that's a, somebody had a party last night, huh? Yeah, the annual cleanup on uh, the morning of Ash Wednesday after Fat Tuesday. It's one last hurrah to get it all out of your system before... Uh, sacrificing for Lent. A lot of punch keys being eaten down there, I'm sure, as we're uh, being eaten up here. Hundreds of thousands of celebrators turn out every year for these celebrations. You can kind of tell by all the, you know, debris left <laughs> in the road. I expected to see a couple folks, you know, a few stragglers, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Looks yeah. like cleanup crew instead. Yeah, it's a busy day. Gosh, with uh, Valentine's Day, Ash Wednesday, we've got that alert day in the forecast. Uh, but let's talk about Valentine's Day for a second. You better believe it. One of Josh Breider's favorite holidays. He's in the 608. The special story about how Sauk County residents are sending some love. What's going on in Baraboo this morning, Josh? Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. It is the day of love, and we have a sweet special story for you this morning coming to you from Baraboo. We are at our house senior living here in Baraboo, and they're about to get a really special Valentine's Day. I want to bring in Ashley first here. Ashley, good morning to you. Hi. Hello. So this is such a special way that you guys are sending some love to seniors, and this was all about really getting the community together. Yes. So we partnered with Nito's. Um, we are kind of throwing out like an adopt a grandparent. Each month is a little different. This month is Valentine's Day, so we had to partner. And we let the community adopt a grandparent. And for $3, you got a cookie. And they'd be delivered to each resident. And this was really a, a, a big deal. I mean, there were a lot of people that came forward. I mean, hundreds of these cookies are here. Yeah, so we had a Facebook post, and we shared that. And every time we share a Facebook post, families, friends, they share it. Their families and friends share it. It made it all over the United States. Uh, they got calls from all over Wisconsin. It got crazy. I love it. And one of those ladies that has a big smile on her face this morning. Jeannie, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing this oh, morning? I'm doing fine. I love today. Oh my gosh, it's a special day. Look at all these wonderful notes that you have from the community. Oh, wonderful. I am so happy with this. All my friends, all my friends are here on this. Not here, on this. Well, how special is it for you to get these messages on Valentine's oh, Day? Oh, if you knew how much I love these people. Oh, I love them so much. They are wonderful, wonderful. These gals right here, oh, they are my, and that one is crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> I love her. These are your family, right? They are my family. Everyone. Everyone. And take a look at those cookies. What do you think of those cookies? Ooh. Have you had one yet? Nah. Well, you know, we do get some off and on from the bakery, and oh, my, oh, my, oh, very good. They do look really good. And speaking of the bakery, we have Tony from Nito's Bakery here this morning. Tony, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. These cookies look delicious. They are. Oh, they really are. Oh, I want to eat them. <laughs> I want to eat them. I want to move in and start eating cookies, too. Talk about the special partnership with our house, because this really was a community effort. It really was. Uh, we got the email to be involved, and it was an automatic yes. You get, you get offers to be 
to do nice things and then you get really inspired by doing things. And this was one that was really inspiring. It really touches us and to be able to do things for grandparents. I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. So here's the big question. How many cookies did you bake? 473. Holy cow. Yeah, it was a lot of cookies. A lot of cookies. Some of them, you know, got left behind. You know, we have to do a lot of quality <laughs> control. It's part of the hazard of the job, but, you know. I love it. Well, hey, happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys here. I love this story here, guys. We're going to have much more coming up in the 608 in our next half hour. But get out there, spread some love on Valentine's Day. It's what it's all about here. Family, friends, whoever it may be. Boy, Good stuff. Here. Isn't that so cool <laughs> that they're doing that there? What a great idea. I love that. Yeah, cool. Maybe a snag a couple of cookies? Don't steal from the elderly. <laughs> I mean, if, they, if, if they're going to go to waste. <laughs> no, go to no. Waste. <laughs> if they're going to go to waste. They do look so good. Look at them. I mean, I am hungry. It's not like I'm going to say no. Right. But <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> okay, it's 6.15. Out to Kelly Slifka now with your first warm weather. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys, on this uh, Valentine's Day. And actually, if you are headed out for, well, I guess dinner or even a little bit later, it should be okay. It won't be until after midnight that we're going to be talking about some precipitation, which might include some snow after midnight. Right now, though, looking at a beautiful sun coming up. That's the beauty of this time of the year. We really start to gain daylight as we are headed into the middle of February. And we are going to call for warmer than average temperatures, warmer than yesterday, up to 46. The average now is up to 31. Noticing that sunrise before 7 o'clock, and it sets almost now at 530. So we are gaining that daylight. I want to thank... Um, uh, Chrissy for sending this uh, vi uh, this photo. This was in Milton from our uh, historic tornadic storm that uh, developed late last week on Thursday. She was at a good distance of this as it was unfortunately traveling through Evansville. All right, uh, 40s expected today, mid 40s at that. So it's going to be mild. We will see some clouds rolling in later this afternoon, but the precipitation, the rain, snow will probably mainly hold off until after midnight, maybe a little bit sooner to the northwest of Madison. We'll be turning colder, though, by the end of the week, uh, maybe actually below average for a change, but we're going to be in the milder sector of the storm right uh, in between that uh, cold front, that stationary front that's passing through. But this is the area of snow that's expected to spread through later on tonight. And it might be warm enough that initially we could see a little bit of rain mixed in. That may keep the totals down a little bit in Madison areas to the south, while the heavier band of snow is likely to develop north into the Adels area, Adams and Juneau County, up into Columbia and Dodge County. Generally one to three inches, uh, all of southern Wisconsin. This will not be affecting us until after midnight through about six o'clock tomorrow morning, but waking up tomorrow morning, there may be some accumulation on the ground. Sunshine to start off our day as temperatures climb through the mid 40s, a little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on. And as mentioned, this evening should be okay. It won't be until after midnight. Generally for most of our area, we have that band of snow in central areas of the state. Then some moisture comes in from the south. So we'll see a little bit of rain snow mix. Showed you, I, I told you I'd show you some pink there. That would indicate a little bit of a mix of rain and snow before it changes to all snow by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning and then starts to taper off after then and we'll actually get into some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Generally one to three inches but as you get north of the Dells could be talking about three four inches of snow central areas of the state a little bit more but as you get down toward Janesville and Monroe may not even pick up an inch of snow. 25 right now in Madison 22 in Watertown 23 in Janesville it's down to 18 in Boscobel. Currently, Sauk City at 28, 27 in Sun Prairie, and also Cottage Grove. So a mild afternoon, 46 expected, with the clouds thickening up later today article. through tonight. There's that first warrant alert day due to that snow accumulation by this time tomorrow morning, but it'll be out of here by this time tomorrow morning, but may leave a couple of inches on the ground. Another chance for some snow showers, upwards of an inch on Friday, turning colder before we warm up back in the upper 30s and low 40s early next week. Two streaks entered the Kohl Center on Tuesday night. On one side was Wisconsin and their four-game losing streak. On the other, Ohio State and their 15-game road losing streak. So one had to come to an end with a win by either team. Badgers beat the Buckeyes a month ago in Columbus. Pretty good start for Bucky. Steven Crow goes to work down low. And Big Steve bodies his way in for the score. 12 first-half points from him. Then later, Wisconsin would turn defense into offense. Chucky Hepburn comes up with the steal and then gives it to A.J. Storr, who flushes it home for two. He finished with 14 and 12. Badgers closed the first half on a 16 to three run. Here's three of those. Max Klesman puts his man in a blender and dials one up from deep. This one got close, but Wisconsin held on for a much needed win, 62-54, the final.
Bucks on a back-to-back -back hosting Tyler Hero in the heat, and Miami was red hot from the start. Pat Beverly turns it over, and Hero makes him pay. The Wisconsin native pulls up from deep to make it a 14-point game. Now Giannis and Dame doing what they can to bring the team back. The two-man game ends with an easy deuce for Giannis, but it wouldn't be enough. Bucks fall 123-97. to the Wisconsin men's hockey team heads to Columbus to take on Ohio State on Friday for the first of two weekends on the road. The Badgers already swept the Buckeyes this season, and OSU has been struggling in the Big Ten. They have just one conference win and have lost seven straight Big Ten games. But with his team's sights set on a conference crown, Mike Hastings' squad isn't interested in overlooking Ohio State. If you don't play well, you're going to get beat. And depending on how you play, you could get embarrassed. I don't care who you're playing in our league. You have to go out and earn your points. And we've done that in in some peaks and some valleys over the last two weekends in our play. Um, anytime you go on the road in the Big Ten, you're going to have to go and earn it, and it's not going to be any different. On the mat, Fenimore taking on Aquinas in a sectional final duel. Winner heads the state, and the Golden Eagles flex their muscles. At 144, Ian Crap ranked number two in his Division Three, puts his man flat on his back and wins by fall to give Fenimore a 10-6 lead in the duel. And that lead, they'd never lose it. Couple matches later, Ryder Zanchevich gets into the pin party. He'd win by fall in two minutes and 34 seconds as the reigning champs head back to state with a 44-25 win. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. Thank you very much, Zach. 621 still ahead. Of course, it's Valentine's Day. What Americans are expected to spend on this lovely holiday. We'll talk about it coming up next. Eric Franke, News 3 Now at 5, 6, and 10, moving forward. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanakee Furniture ETC. There's never been a better time for a fresh start with Feldco. Jumpstart your home's upgrade this month with 40% off Feldco windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Warmer weather's on its way. Tap your to-do list early and enjoy comfort and curb appeal all season long. Plus, no interest until 2025. Let the experts at Feldco upgrade your home this season. But hurry, 40% off won't last long. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Want to instantly look more attractive, years younger, and even healthier? The solution is whiter teeth. Even teeth that are just a little yellow are a problem. They rob your appearance, make you look older, and can hurt your confidence. But you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. So from that point on, I've been sold. My absolute favorite thing was how easy it was. It takes literally less than five minutes. Power Swabs has made a really big difference in lifting the stains and making my smile more beautiful. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application and after five minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Plus, unlike other whitening methods, power swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays, and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> it's time to discover what you've been missing. Now, it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off this Valentine's Day. You'll also receive the Power Swabs Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will also get free shipping. Order right now and take the Power Swabs 5-Minute Challenge. If your teeth aren't a full two shades wider after your first application, simply return it and you'll get your money back. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, 
furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale. Going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Welcome back. Let's take a look at your morning. Speaking of Valentine's Day, oh. Linda found some lovers out in the snow. That's exactly what I said last hour. Yeah, it's a great picture. That's cool. Even I know these are cardinals, a male yeah. and a female cardinal. Uh, Linda, what a great picture. Thanks for sharing it with us. Very appropriate for Valentine's Day. Love it. All right, Shane has the trending star of the day for this holiday. Yeah, we're staying on theme. Of course, we're talking about uh, Valentine's Day, one of the big spending days of the year. The National Retail Federation predicts Americans will spend more than $25 billion to mark this Valentine's Day. The top three gifts, candy, greeting cards, and flowers. Another $5 billion on an evening out. Average person will spend $100 for their loved ones. All right, Chris said he's got a Valentine's lunch plan for today. About Sounds like a morning show anchor. Yes, <laughs> and you and Zach, any plans? I woke up this morning. We normally don't do Valentine's Day. We don't b really believe in it. Okay. <laughs> like it's just a little too commercialized for us. However, I woke up to roses this morning. Oh. So that was really nice. And we're going to the overture tonight. All right. Very nice. nice. So look at Both us. Got some nice plans for the day. How about you? Laundry, I hear? Uh, yeah, laundry, maybe a good movie, some reading, and a nice meal. Self-love, baby. It's in in 2024. A little sad, but... <laughs> What's that Miley Cyrus song? I can buy myself flowers. Oh, there is water all over there. All right. Live TV, folks. Okay. Hey, we have a lot to get to this morning, including an alert day for tomorrow. How much snow we're going to get just after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Teeth are amazing. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we have new financing options to help you get a new smile today, not someday. Scan the QR code or call to learn more. Go ahead and smile. Cobison Buses, now hiring. I'm Dina Noland. I drive for Cobison buses. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. First day of school for my son, the fact that I get to bring him there and I can just park my bus right on the side and walk in, they don't, they don't mind that. They want you to be there for your family. I've always enjoyed working with kids. The opportunity to transport them in a bus, I enjoy doing it. Visit Cobison.com to apply. Interested in an electric vehicle? Bergstrom has the largest selection of electric vehicles and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Bergstrom Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. RSV can seriously impact breathing, even for the best performer. Protect yourself with Pfizer's Abrisbo, a vaccine to prevent lower respiratory disease from RSV in people 60 years and older. It's not for everyone and may not protect all who receive it. Don't get Abrisbo if you've had an allergic reaction to its ingredients. A weakened immune system may decrease your response. Most common side effects are tiredness, headache, injection site pain, and muscle pain. Ask your pharmacist or doctor about Abrisbo today. Hey Wayne, shopping for a new door? I sure am. This fiberglass door is really strong. We love ours. Do you need something more dependable? Yes, something that's durable, dent resistant, knows how to take a hit and is gonna last for years. We're still talking about the door, right? Uh, oh yeah, right, of course. Right now, you can customize your home for 0% interest for up to 60 months when you place your order by February 23rd. Visit PellaWI.com today. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually... Here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy! easy. Hut! Hut! Come on, Michael, you got this! Come on, come on, turn! Michael, catch! I can see! Go did it! I did it! 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. Don't delay. The Brothers Main President's Day sale is happening now. Save storewide on top brands like Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Maytag, and Amana. We have the area's largest selection and lowest prices guaranteed. Feel like family. Brothers Main. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, our Snap Secure Dental Implants will help you eat and speak with confidence at a price that's affordable. 
So if you think you can't afford dental implants, think again. Go ahead and smile. This morning, the battle over your political districts may be over soon. How lawmakers at the state capitol are trying to move things forward. Plus, budget shortfalls, the proposed solutions to Madison's money problem. Any chilly start to the morning temperatures in the low to mid 20s. We'll talk about some snow that'll be spreading our way later tonight. Coming up. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. I'm Leah Lynch. Thanks for waking us up, uh, waking up with us and waking me up. Yeah. This is waking me up. That's the new shift. <laughs> I am sleeping in, yeah. buddy. Jealous. You believe it. Just, 4 a.m. alarm a little, clock. Just a little jealous. You like that? Yeah, well. Well, uh, you have more time to do Valentine's Day things today. That's very true. Although here I thought that winter was over. Second day in a row I had to scrape my car. And there's snow on the way, Kelly. Yeah, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of winter, maybe two weeks of true winter. But uh, we are going to see a little bit of a taste come our way over the next couple of days. And we've had to deal with this frost over the last couple of mornings with the clear skies. That has been the benefit uh, this month. Typically we don't see a whole lot of sun in the month of February, but we have so far this month. But with the clear skies, it does allow for some of that frost to develop. May take you a minute or two to uh, scrape off that uh, frost this morning. Tomorrow morning, you might have to scrape off a little bit of snow accumulation. The heavier snow looks to be falling just to the north of Madison from the Dells over toward Juneau. Uh, that's where the heavier band of snow is looking right now. There is a chance that could shift either north to the south. Have to fine tune that as we go throughout the uh, day today. They're going to be milder today. Today's going to be no problem traveling about. Just some clouds increasing out ahead of the system. Really won't be until after midnight. That's when the bulk of the precipitation move in. And some of it may initially start out as a little bit of rain before changing over to snow by tomorrow morning. So the winds are out of the south, and that's what's going to bring us some warmer temperatures. Sunshine should be boosting our temperatures to near 40 here at the noon hour. A little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on, but still a mild day in the mid-40s. That chance of rain or snow really not holding off until late in the evening hours. Most of this will come in after midnight tonight. So headed off to the bus stop this morning. We are looking at increasing clouds today. Not quite as cool this afternoon as what we had yesterday. Should be headed into the mid-40s. More of that snow potential with this uh, first warning alert day coming up in about 15 minutes. Okay, Kelly, thank you very much. Hey, by the way, our team pushes out real-time updates on that storm to our first warn weather app. You can stay in the know by following along there. Pay cuts, layoffs, and tax increases. That's what's on the line for the city of Madison if it can't make up for the budget deficit. Shane Hogan is here this morning with a breakdown of that deficit and what it means for you as a taxpayer. Shane. Hey, good morning, Leah. That's right. Folks with the city say there might be only one option to address this budget shortfall. That's an increase in property taxes above the state limit. That would make the average homeowner pay $284 extra each year. And it seems like this is the only option when it comes to increasing taxes. We have a limited number of non-property tax revenue options. 70% of our budget comes from the property tax. There aren't any other major general revenue options available to the city. And that's really uh, a, a result of the way um, the state law works. Now, if the tax levy does not work, then the city would need to look into cutting funds for certain public services. That would lead to multiple layoffs and pay cuts for those necessary services. So, of course, if it does get to that point, we will continue to provide those updates, guys. Yeah, Shane Hogan with that information. Thank you very much, Shane. Now to continuing coverage of the battle over Wisconsin's political districts. State Republicans have reversed course. Our Will Keneally breaks it down for us. We kind of have a gun to our head, frankly, is really how it's looking right now. Republicans reluctantly backed legislative district maps drawn by the state's Democratic governor. Now, they're not happy about these maps, but even more, they don't want the liberal state Supreme Court setting the boundaries instead. I'm going to vote for these maps because the process that's underway in the Supreme Court certainly doesn't appear that it's going to take our arguments seriously or even consider them. Republicans have benefited under favorable maps for the last decade, so any changes are almost certain to dilute how much power they have in the state capitol. That's something that they are preparing for under the maps passed today. They are clearly drawn in a way to help Democrats, but I still think we can win because we have a better message. Even though the maps were drawn by the Democratic governor, many Democrats in the state legislature voted against their own maps. 
Republicans at every step of the process, uh, rushed it through the committee process, didn't have a public hearing on these maps, didn't have a committee vote. That leaves it up to the governor to sign or veto the maps. I'm sure the governor is going to be talking to his lawyers and doing what is best to get fair maps for the people of Wisconsin, and I trust him to make that decision. Will Keneally reporting there. In the past, Governor Evers said he would sign the maps because he made them. But there's also still a chance that he could veto the bill and leave it up to the Wisconsin Supreme Court to decide. Lawmakers in the Senate are slated to consider a bill that would require UW-Madison to admit all Wisconsin students who finish in the top 5% of their class. Passed in the Senate yesterday, it's part of a deal struck between the universities of Wisconsin and the Republican-controlled legislature back in December. The universities are required to limit diversity positions on campuses. In exchange, they get staff raises and construction projects. As for the automatic acceptance clause, students in the top 10% of their class would be admitted to other Wisconsin campuses. The U.S. Senate can now begin impeachment for President Biden's Secretary of Homeland Security. Articles of impeachment cleared the House by a single vote yesterday. Among the no votes were three Republicans, one of whom is Green Bay's Mike Gallagher, who sided with Democrats. Gallagher recently announced that he will be retiring at the end of his term. In Rock County, a local fire department has some new tools to help save more lives. This is pretty neat. The Beloit Fire Department is now using thermal cameras to help them fight fires. Hmm. These cameras monitor surrounding temperatures and display a color-coded rendering of the scene. This helps firefighters see outlines of areas that could be dangerous or reignite while pointing out people who maybe need to be rescued. This allows us to kind of see through the smoke a little bit and actually find fire, find victims and things like that. So it's kind of our eyes in the darkness, if you will. Yeah. This technology is very advanced and has a lot of features. If you're interested in learning more, we have a web exclusive showing the full breakdown of the thermal imaging features. Just go to channel3000.com and look for this story. All right, at 636, a reminder, it's your last week to nominate a veteran for our Spirit of Service Award. We're proudly partnering up with Vortex to raise awareness about veterans doing good in our community. To help us honor one, we need your help to let us know all about them. They could win a $5,000 prize. Head to the story at channel3000.com. Tell us in a thousand words or less why the veteran you're nominating should win, and we'll announce the winner next month right here on News 3 Now This Morning. Still ahead here on News 3 Now This Morning, it's Valentine's Day and an old way to meet a lot of people making a comeback. We'll tell you why. And we are starting off quiet on this Valentine's Day. The uh, sun is coming up. It's a frosty start to the morning. We're tracking some snow that will be developing after midnight tonight. We'll track it for you coming up with the first warm forecast. Also ahead, sending love to seniors. We'll show you how one community in the 608 is celebrating Valentine's Day in a really special way. Next. The President's Day Weekend Mattress Marathon Blowout Sale is happening now at Ashley. Get the best mattress deals ever while they last. Save up to $1,100 on adjustable mattress sets, plus five-year special financing with no money down. Don't miss it. Only at Ashley. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Dale. What's going on, man? I'm remodeling, and I'm looking for a new tankless water heater. You know, Menards always has Richmond water heaters in stock. I'm headed that way now. You want to go? You read my mind. Let's do it. Man, you ever take off that fire suit? <laughs> I sleep in this thing. All right. Man, these stores are incredible. I love having them as a partner. Me too. For the best tankless options, come to Menards for Richmond water heaters. And all your home improvement projects. Save big money at Menards. When a crane collapsed during construction of a major league sports stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Looking for a bladder leak pad that keeps you dry? All of the things that you're looking for in a pad, that is always discreet. Look at how it absorbs all the liquid and locking it right on in. You feel no wetness. Oh my gosh, totally absorbed. I gotta get some always discreet. Jordan's sore nose let out a fiery sneeze, so Dad grabbed Puffs Plus Lotion to soothe her with ease. Puffs Plus Lotion is gentle on sensitive skin and locks in moisture to provide soothing relief. A nose in need deserves Puffs indeed. America's number one lotion tissue. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. 
Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while Advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99. Plus, Advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. Ashley's President's Day Weekend Blowout is Saturday through Monday. Get up to 10 Benjamins in savings without a single Washington down. Get this five-piece living room set for $19 a month, plus five-year special financing with low monthly payments. Only at Ashley. South Central Wisconsin, where people unite for a brighter future and businesses thrive. And the food. Oh, the food. Resilient, unwavering, always moving forward. Now, here's the deal. We've got our fair share of challenges, but here's the kicker. We own up to them. We advocate for change. We celebrate the good and we fix the bad. No settling, no backing down. That's our commitment to you. News 3 Now, always moving forward. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Welcome back. We're celebrating Valentine's Day in the 608 with a special story on how South County residents are sending some love. Josh Breider is live in Baraboo this morning with, a, I, I gotta say, Josh, it's a pretty cute story today. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is such a cute story and it's so amazing to see the community really coming together to send some love to seniors here at our house living in Baraboo. And this morning I want to bring in Ashley and Jeannie here to talk a little bit more about how they're celebrating Valentine's Day. Ashley, I want to start with you because this was really a call for help from the community to really show some love and boy, did they do that. Yes, so um, we rolled out the first of the year a new monthly program where we adopt a grandparent and we started in February, which is Valentine's Day. So uh, how perfect to partner with a local business. And we chose Nito's. Tony and Amanda are amazing. And uh, we asked them to open up to the community and adopt a grandparent for $3 for a cookie. And between Facebook and phone calls and the internet and news, um, we got a lot of cookies and all of our grandparents have been adopted. So that's just some of the cookies. How many cookies did you end up getting? 473 cookies. That is a lot of cookies. It's insane. It's insane. It is a lot of cookies. Um, we plan to share the love around the community. We plan to take Jeannie out and hand out Valentines to others that may be lonely, um, need, some, need some love. You know, speaking of Jeannie, we got to talk to Miss Jeannie because she has all these notes. Jeannie, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Same to you. So how special is this? Look at all this love right here. Oh, this is so wonderful. I am so happy for everybody, everybody that called in to adopt us as grandparents. That means so much, so very much love love on valentine's day you couldn't ask for anything any better 473 cookies that is a lot of cookies 473 lots and lots of yum yum so i know you got to try a cookie about five minutes ago what did you think oh goodness what is there to say but delicious <laughs> and what better breakfast to start valentine's oh, day with right. you got that you got that you know, I know you really love the community here, and I mean, they are like family. Oh, they are my family. They are my family. I love it here. They are so, so wonderful. I love every, everybody here. Everybody. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. Well, Jeannie, happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you, Jason. Same to you. Yes. <laughs> Photojournalist Mark Schilling getting some love here as well. You know, Ashley, this is all about getting out into the community, and you guys did just that. I mean, you're so special and so lucky to be here in Baraboo and Sauk County. Yeah, Baraboo is a wonderful community, and they love uh, the seniors. They love to help the seniors. They know what it's like to be lonely. They know, like, um, not everybody has a wife, a husband, a uh, a brother, a son, you know, um, and it's nice for them to open up and just come visit. It's, it's good for them. You know, it's, it's, it teaches the community empathy and it's nice. And this is just one of the events that you guys will have moving forward too. Oh yes. Oh yes. We, uh, we plan to be a little extra this year and get the community involved. Yeah. 
I love it. Well, Ashley, Jeannie, thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. One more look at the cookies here, guys. Take a look at this. Again, Nito's Bakery providing these right here in Baraboo. So awesome to get a local business involved. But, I mean, the intricate de details in those cookies. They look delicious, and I'm sure they are delicious. And Jeannie mentioned they are pretty delicious. Very, very yoo-hoo good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Jeannie reminds me of my grandma. This was her favorite holiday too, yeah. Valentine's Day. And you know I can get behind a cookie for breakfast, Chris. Oh yeah, they, they look great. Uh, give Jeannie a big old <laughs> hug for us. Wasn't she wonderful? I will do that. We love her. Josh Breider, Thanks, thank Josh. you very much. Cute story today. Don't forget, Josh is always looking for inspirational stories to share with our folks at home, so send him an idea on social media or email him. Well, at least Jeannie's making our day because Kelly doesn't have a ton of good news in his first <laughs> Oh, come letter. on. I've got some news for you. I mean, I don't know if it's good or bad, but <laughs> there's something in it for maybe everyone today. For uh, Valentine's Day, we are calling for some quiet weather, and if you are headed out for Valentine's Day, no problems. Actually, pretty mild. In fact, we'll be in the uh, 40s here, probably headed out to dinner. Uh, as the uh, sun's going down, should be in the 40s yet. We'll back off in the uh, 30s, but not too chilly. And even though it will be uh, fairly cloudy, it should be dry. So no problems if you are going to be headed out for dinner uh, later on this evening. Right now, our, uh, our sky cam from the Edgewater. You can see the uh, clear skies coming up on the horizon with the clear skies and calm winds. We do have some cold uh, temperatures, but it's going to warm up in the mid-40s. Winds will be picking up out of the south. Now, I know Leah likes this. We've got some snow coming our way later tonight. That'll be with us tomorrow morning. Uh, not going to last real long, but the snowfall rates after midnight may be upwards of an inch per hour, especially north of Madison. As you get up toward the Dells, maybe even into Columbia County, uh, could be seeing some of that heavier snow rolling in. Then it will be turning colder as we go through the end of the week. There's that area of snow right now spreading across South Dakota. Now, there's going to be two bands of snow. It looks like one's going to be hitting, say, the Twin Cities area, then into central Wisconsin, another one just south of there just north of Madison. So it uh, remains to be seen if that doesn't shift a little bit. But the bulk of the precipitation is going to be coming up after midnight to about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Not long in duration, but it may, as mentioned, come down at a fairly heavy clip because of some of this moisture coming in from the south. About 1 to 3 inches general. That's why we have the first warm alert day late tonight through early tomorrow morning. So wake up. Most of the snow is done with by this time tomorrow morning, but there will be some accumulation on the ground. Clear skies this morning. We'll see some clouds rolling in. We're in the mid-40s today, so warmer than yesterday. And this evening will be quiet, even though the clouds will win out. It won't be until later tonight. Areas to the north might see some of this about 10, 11 o'clock. More likely after midnight, you see some of this moisture coming in from the south. So we'll see a little bit of a rain-snow mixture. May keep our amounts down a little bit. Well, it'll be mainly snow north of the Dells, and that's why they'll likely see a little bit more snow. And then you can see by tomorrow morning, we'll actually clear out from north to south. So generally one to three inches most areas, but once you get into the Adels area, Adams, Juno County, over there toward Watoma, Fond du Lac, could be talking about three, four inches of snow. 28 in the Dells right now is down to 18 with the clear skies in Basketball, 25 in Madison, 20 in Watertown, and 23 in Juneau, 27 in Sun Prairie, 22, one of the colder spots right now in Middleton. 46 today with that rain-snow mixture coming in mainly after midnight for most of us. That first warm alert day after midnight through about 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then the uh, snow should be done with. We'll actually clear out, but turn a little bit colder. Upper 20s Friday and Saturday before rebounding back in the 30s and even low 40s next week. All right, Kelly Slifka, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. 647 now. More people are falling out of love with dating apps and looking for other ways to make a connection this Valentine's Day. Believe it or not, speed dating <laughs> is making a comeback. Bradley Blackburn reports. On a Monday night in Manhattan, the back room at Pando Park was packed with people, all looking for a connection. We'll meet someone to date. Like many here, Jonathan Cummings is tired of dating apps and sees value in being face-to-face -face instead of swiping on a screen. You can look at their body language, you can see they smile at my silly joke, you know, and that means a lot. The only phone in sight... Here we go with round two was a six-minute timer from host Stacey Harris with speed dating company My Cheeky Date. Everybody gets to meet everybody. I say you can talk to anyone for six minutes. This company hosts speed dating here in New York and in cities across the country and around the world. There are plenty of people looking for love offline. According to Eventbrite, attendance at in-person singles and dating events grew more than 40% last year. 
The number of events was up more than 60 percent compared to before the pandemic. Dating fatigue is a real thing. Maria Abgatidis is a professional matchmaker and Eventbrite's dating expert. She's found Gen Z is even more skeptical about meeting on apps. Are you using an AI-generated photo online to get the swipes? Or is this photo slightly blurry, clearly a person, clearly real, no filters? Gen Z is showing us that they've grown up in a digital world they're seeking more analog dating interactions. At speed dating, a spark can happen fast, sometimes not in the way you'd imagine. Jawan Kim is still looking for Mr. Right, but has found some new friends. The first two times, I met a lot of cool girlfriends. <laughs> um, nothing romantic has blossomed, but maybe third time's a charm. A silver lining in the search for love. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. According to Eventbrite in 2023, the cities with the highest percentage of dating and singles events included New York, L.A., and Houston. Okay, it is just about 6.50 on your Valentine's Day. Coming up in the morning sprint, an update on the airboat, uh, airboat crash that left three firefighters injured. And we would like to wish uh, someone a happy birthday. Mabel is three today. Happy birthday, Mabel. Aww. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. A rookie stunt driver. Again. Will prove he's got what it takes in this year's most exciting Nissan sales event. Get a low 330 per month lease on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Act Fast offers this good won't stick around. It's better than ever. Over 350 booths and 25 seminars at the Wisconsin Fishing Expo, February 23rd through the 25th at the Alliant Energy Center, Madison. Deals from legendary manufacturers and unique vendors not found in stores, plus dozens of boat dealers. Kids' activities include trout pond, casting competitions, bow fishing, kids' bingo, and more. Prize patrol giveaways every day. WIFishingExpo.com. Sponsored by Wisconsin Outdoor News, Daiwa, Don's Marine, Blackfish, and Lucas Oil. Everyone has their own idea of what fitness means to them. Here's what it means to us. We believe fitness can be more than exercise, that it can build a better tomorrow. It can change how you feel. It can build more than muscle. It can build community. And no matter what your reason, the common goal is simple. It's for a better tomorrow. Join us for a better tomorrow. The Century House. Take 10% off our extensive collection of stressless recliners and sofas, or get $400 off stressless Max and Mike recliners in luxurious Paloma leather, or classic power base recliners in any cover. Plus, get 10% off the new Stressless Sky customizable luxury mattress. Shop The Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. A logo can do more than identify your company. It can connect in meaningful ways, energize your team, and inspire your customers. We're for Imprint, and we know your logo on the right product can create moments that matter. With 30 years of experience and thousands of products to choose from, we guarantee your order will be right the first time, on time, and for a great price. Be certain that the right moments will matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. A rookie stunt driver. Again. Will prove he's got what it takes in this year's most exciting Nissan sales event. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Act Fast offers this good won't stick around. Ruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 
6.53, time for the morning sprint. The fight for Wisconsin's electoral maps could be at an end. Republicans at the state capitol making a rare agreement with Democrats to pass Governor Evers' electoral maps. It's to prevent the liberal-leaning state Supreme Court from drawing their own. The proposal is headed to the governor's desk. He has singled in the pa signaled in the past that he would sign it. UW is reviewing an incident that happened outside an engineering building Tuesday. Video here on Instagram appears to show a UW PD officer shove a protester to the ground. It also shows protesters blocking a door. The group that posted the video says people were protesting a career fair that hosted companies supplying weapons to Israel. A UW spokesperson says protesters broke the fair's guidelines. Police in Beloit say two employees from Merrill Elementary School have turned themselves in in a disorderly conduct case. Officers aren't sharing the details, but we know a 53-year-old Rockford man turned himself into police on Friday. A 61-year-old Janesville woman turned herself in yesterday. Both face charges of misdemeanor disorderly conduct. A Beaver Dam firefighter is still in the hospital this morning after that airboat crash a couple of nights ago. The department was doing some ice rescue training on Beaver Dam Lake Monday when the boat crashed into a small island. Three firefighters in total were sent to the hospital. Two were treated and released yesterday morning. There's a community gathering scheduled this week in Evansville for anyone impacted by last week's historic tornado. It's going to take place at 6 p.m. tomorrow at the Evansville High School. The address for the school is 640 South 5th Street. The city of Madison facing a $27 million budget deficit. It could have some massive effects on taxpayers. City officials are working with the financial department to find solutions now to the problem before it becomes worse. Current proposals for a fix include a property tax increase of just shy of $300 on average, as well as cutting funds to city services. Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas is officially impeached this morning. House Republicans made it happen in a 214 to 213 vote. Three Republicans, including Green Bay's Mike Gallagher, siding with Democrats there. The articles of impeachment are not expected to move in the Democratic-led Senate. It may be indefinitely shelved to a committee. Well, good morning, five minutes away from a 7 o'clock. A frosty start to the morning, but we're going to be warmer this afternoon with the southerly winds into the 40s today. That's out ahead of a storm system that will bring us some rain mixed with some snow late tonight, mainly after midnight through about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and then it will be turning colder. Kind of a taste of winter, which we haven't had a whole lot of, but we do have a winter weather advisory areas uh, north of Madison starting at midnight tonight through 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, most of this accumulating snow will be affecting, uh, affecting us through the overnight period while most of us are sleeping. We'll start to see some of these clouds roll in during the afternoon hours. Some of that rain snow up there toward La Crosse, Black River Falls, Camp Douglas before midnight, but most of us really won't see that until after midnight. Beautiful sunrise coming up this morning. Some sun this morning should be in the mid 40s today with increasing cloud cover. Rain and snow late tonight through early tomorrow morning for the first morning alert day. Then it turns a little bit colder with some sunshine tomorrow afternoon into a Friday. Kelly, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll have a news and weather update in 30 minutes.